ADAPT is an experimental surge capacity estimator for inpatient care, aiming to support policymakers in surge resources to respond to COVID-19 by stimulating different parameters. ADAPT was developed by the Associação Portuguesa de Administradores Hospitalares and GLINT. As requested by the World Health Organization, both entities agreed to release it as an open-source, free software. All contributions to its improvement are welcome. The tool is designed to work in MS Excel Office 365 version. Some features may not work properly in older versions. The tool is a spreadsheet that contains eight visible sheets. Language Setup, only available for editors for translation. Guide, this is the entrance tab where you have the index for other tabs. Search Predicted Impact, this is the main tab. It shows the graphical output of the predictions and the predicted days of shortage in search capacity. It allows the calibration of the illustrative epidemiological model and the resources parametrization. Simulation results. This tab allows the user to visualize the data used for the graphics presented on the Search Predicted Impact tab. Epidemiological model selection. In this tab, you can select the epidemiological model that you want to use. Custom Epidemiological Model In this tab, you can input your own epidemiological model output data. COVID-19 Daily Reported Data In this tab, you can update the real daily reported data. Country Population This tab has the population per country. Guide this is the entrance tab where you have the index for other tabs. On the Epidemiological Model Selection tab, you can choose between two models. SIR Illustrative Model To use a simple SIR Epidemiological Model Developed for the tool for illustration purposes. Custom Epidemiological Model to use your or other model results by pasting them into the Custom EpiModel Input Data tab. For that, select the Custom EpiModel Input Data tab and paste your daily predictive data as columns, daily predictive active infected and daily predicted new infected and cumulative reported infected. Please consider T0 as the day of the first diagnosed case. After adding your data, select Custom Epidemiological Model on the Epidemiological Model Selection tab and column letter where each data is inserted. You can also turn visible the RO and the RMSE. If on, they would be visible on the Search Predicted Impact tab. SIR acronym S for the number of susceptible I for the number of infectious and R for the number of recovered or deceased or immune individuals COVID-19 Daily Reported Data tab If you decide to use the illustrative SIR epidemiological model developed for the tool, you can introduce your daily reported data on the COVID-19 Daily Reported Data tab. Introducing the daily reported data, you need to consider the following parameters. Date, confirmed, confirmed new and suspects. This data will be compared with the SIR illustrative model data and give the model RMSE, model error with these settings versus real reported data. Search predicted impact. This is the main output results tab. It shows the graphical results of the predictions and the predicted days of shortage. It allows the calibration of the illustrative epidemiological model and the resources parametrization. Parameters are grouped into seven different areas. 
Epidemiological Model, COVID-19 Daily Update, Hospital Activity and Practices in, Out, Installed Capacity, Human Resources, HR Capacity to COVID in Patients, HR Occupational Risk, leading to results on the three graphics on the right. Bad capacity, human resources needed, human resources needed by skill. The EPI model embedded on the tool is for illustrative purposes only. We encourage to use specific EPI data as shown on slide 4. You can input the following data. Day of first reported cases. Total days to predict. You can select from 1 to 365 days. Country or region. By selecting the country, it immediately displays the number of inhabitants. Consider attack rate. On or off. Attack rate scenario. It represents the percentage of the population which contracts the disease. You can select from four scenarios. Very low, 5%. Low, 10%. Medium, 20%. And high, 30%. Country attack rate. It shows the percentage of the population which contracts the disease as the scenario selected previously. For illustrative purposes, the tool allows the simulation of three levels of physical distancing measure. No mitigation measures, mitigation measures, and suppression measures. These features are suggestions to experienced operators test the different level of measures and their impact to resources needed. The aim of mitigation measures is to use non-pharmaceutical interventions and vaccines or drugs if available, not to interrupt transmission completely, but to reduce the health impact of an epidemic. The aim of suppression measures is to reduce the reproduction number, the average number of secondary cases each case generates, R to below 1, and hence to reduce case numbers to low levels or, as for SARS or Ebola, eliminate human-to-human -human transmission. Hospital activity and practices, in, out. We use the following criteria to group stage the patients according to the level of resources needed. Mile, patients that can recover at home without inpatient care. They are not considered in the estimation. Moderate, Patients that require inpatient care, but not oxygen therapy and mechanical ventilation. Severe. Patients that require inpatient care and oxygen therapy. Critical. Patients that require inpatient care and medical ventilation. Usually, these come from a previous stage. Example, moderate, severe, and will pass to a lower resources level before discharge. Also, we have divided the parameters in input and output data. As input, the tool considers hospitalization rate and distribution per cases according to the severity level. As output, the tool considers the average length of stay for each stage. Installed capacity for COVID patients. Self-explanatory. The aim is to enter the capacity that the system has for COVID-19. The data can be adjusted according to the surge of resources. The inputted data is shown on the first graphic as dashed straight lines. When the estimated case load crosses the lines, we can predict the date for resources overrun as shown below the graphic. Human resources the tool only considers inpatient care. Please use WHO published recommendations on competencies and workload for COVID-19 care. The codes used follow the ILO International Standard Classification of Occupations. For medical practitioners, please consider a full week rotation to calculate the number of full-time equivalents. 
For nursing professionals, we assume that COVID-19 in patients require nursing shifts with an equal nursing effort. In this sense, we consider the shift configuration and the number of nurses per shift. We assume the shifts duration and shifts per week are the same in all inpatient areas. The default data presented is only illustrative and operators should present their one allocation models. For healthcare assistant, please use the same logic behind the parameters described for nursing professionals. The data inputted is reflected on the two HR resources graphics. Human resources needed and human resources needed by skill. HR capacity to COVID inpatients. Self-explanatory. The aim is to enter the HR capacity that the system has for COVID-19. The data can be adjusted according to the surge of resources. The data inputted is shown on the first graphic as dash straight lines. When the estimated caseload cross the lines, predicting the date for resources overrun as shown below the graphic. Occupational risk. You can input the probability for healthcare professionals to acquire infection per day and the median number of days in quarantine or sick leave. The data inputted is reflected on both HR graphics, showing an adjusted need of HR. The data that is shown on average HR ratio in quarantine sick leave is automatically calculated according to both previous parameters and the HR capacity to COVID inpatients. All the estimations is shown in Simulation Results tab, allowing the user to visualize the data that feed the graphics presented on the Capacity Impact Model tab. Thank you. For any clarification, please email adapt at apah.pt.